What's going on everybody and welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, a new segment we're introducing here at the Homestead that's going to tackle small DIY projects or home maintenance related items that you guys are able to tackle in a weekend. Here at the Parched House we still have a few small projects lingering around that need to be completed and I figured what better way to do these than to bring you guys along for a ride and maybe give you a little bit of motivation or some ideas for projects in your own home. So in our first video we're going to be tackling this linen closet door you see here behind me. I wanted to get rid of that kind of dark hole you saw at the end of the hallway, brighten it up and give it a little bit of funk. Let me start out by saying this is not how you would trim out a door at all. I am doing it in this manner specifically because of the design we are trying to achieve. So just keep that in mind. Again, not how you trim out a door. Okay, so we have our frame all made here, all kind of up in the corners. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the door off. We're gonna create the same frame on it. And then we can start filling out the two centers of the frame with trim work to kind of mimic that feature wall that you see over there. it's time to move on to the center pattern. So we're gonna rip down a bunch of this MDF to one inch pieces and start getting that little bit of a jigsaw figured out. like this is I can complete it mostly out of scrap without having to spend a ton of money. So all I've really used so far is four pieces of pre-bought MDF trim work. So call it $25 in trim and the rest of it's been cut off from other projects. So it's time to start laying out our puzzle. It's now time to go ahead and get all those nail holes and joints filled. I find drywall putty or drywall compound works really well for this. It forms a nice hard finish, it sands really easy, and looks great, smooth, and clean once it's been painted. Once everything is dry, give it a good sand. I'm using 150 grit sandpaper here, which I find has just enough roughness and texture to take off the drywall putty without leaving huge gouges. Once you're done thoroughly sanding, everything is ready for primer and paint, and that pretty much wraps up this project. The last step in this project is to install our hardware. In this case, we went with an extra large pull to make it look a little less like just a standard door and differentiate it from the black doorknobs on the surrounding bedrooms. 
does it. It's a really quite a simple project that you can easily complete in a weekend but it really spices up the end of the hallway and takes away that kind of dark hole that you sometimes get with dark doors. But we're going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell icon so you get notifications every time we release a new video and we'll see you in the next one.